understand that negative language can block the brain's natural de-stress mechanism. Are we talking about stress management? We're talking about, yeah, so negative words, negative language can block the brain's natural de-stress mechanism. So you got to add some sparkly positive words to your everyday language such as certainly, great, definitely, and you need to avoid words like unfortunately, impossible, problems, like these are the words people use in everyday life. So you got to get rid of them because they're negative. Now change your vocabulary, change your vocabulary from why not? Common. Why not? So you change it to sounds good. <laughs> yeah? Now remember it changes your rental history and say no problem. No problem. <laughs> you get it so commonly. So definitely. I will do that. Definitely. Yeah? And then you change um so how's like can't explain. I can't explain how my life is. So instead of saying can't explain, it's saying everything is going on so well. Thank you for asking. Right? So this, you change that. And it's, this is the most common one. I am exhausted. Every other person is saying that. So instead of saying I'm exhausted, you say I just need to rest a bit more. I need to rest. Positive. I forgot. So you're blaming yourself. I forgot is a negative word. I forgot. So I will make sure to set a reminder. Positive. Constructive criticism. I would love to hear your feedback. <laughs> yeah. So you change that again then. Especially giving instruction to the children or your office staff. You tend to say that next time, don't do it. Don't do it. I don't want you to do it. Don't get it. So instead of saying that, you have to rephrase it and say, for example, say, don't throw the ball inside. So your brain does not really understand it. Don't throw it. Just throw the ball inside. Throw the ball inside. Children here, throw the ball inside. So they continue playing. Then, I told you not to, right? I did, can't you hear me? And then you continue and then it just like, it just like adds on to the negative energy and everybody gets so upset and irritated. So instead of saying, don't throw the ball outside, if you don't throw the ball inside, you say that, please take the ball outside. So you're always mentioning what you want to see instead of what you don't want to see. And this works like magic. Look, I have been working with the children for the past 25 years. It works like magic. And people wonder, the parents wonder, why do they listen to you? Why do they? I said, because I don't tell them what not to do. I tell them what to do. So even if they're, they're, slide, they're sliding down from the slide, instead of saying, no, 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 don't put your head first. Don't put your head first. So, so I said, um, Miranda, please slide down the feet first. Slide down feet first. Then, All right, Miss Suji, here I go. I slide down feet first. So, it's just saying don't, 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 don't. Say, I like it when you cook this for me. I like it when you do this for me. Don't, don't, don't. You try to get rid of that don't. And, yeah, I missed you so much. It's so common. I missed you so much. I missed you. I missed you. So, instead of saying that, say, it's so great to see you. Yes. Yeah, it's so great to see you. And, no, 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 wait. I told you, we're not going to have this ice cream today. No, no, no ice cream today. It doesn't work so that. I know, I understand how much you want to eat this ice cream today. We will surely visit this parlor when your cup gets better. So you're saying the same thing, but you, are, you have changed your vocabulary. There are a few more other words. We're just going to quickly go through. It's